Switching gears to high school football, the Alabama High School Athletic Association has made a ruling and it is a big blow to a local team. Six Welburn players will serve a suspension for an altercation that happened after Friday's second round home playoff game against Oakman. TV 24 Spokes Sports spoke with head coach Jeff Smith tonight and he confirmed those suspensions. This is what we do know as of right now, about 9 p.m. on Monday night. Six players suspended for Friday's game against Madison Academy. They are the defending 3A state champions. Two players for Welburn will be suspended for multiple games. The names of those players were not released by Coach Smith. Also, the penalties for Oakman not released as well, but Welburn still will serve as the host team for this week's game against Madison Academy, of course, without those six players. Now, the Panthers are one of eight local teams that have advanced to the third round of the state playoffs. In classes 1A through 6A, just eight teams are left in the state. In class 7A, only four teams have a hope for a state championship. Here's the full list of teams in the viewing area still playing on Friday night. 1A Raglan will host Hubbardville. Cedar Bluff's magical season will continue against Marion County. Woodland and Ramburn meet in a rematch of week nine. Glencoe heads all the way northwest to Colbert County. Montford goes to Leeds in a rematch of week three. And Gazin City looks to knock off the reigning champions from Hoover and advance to the first ever 7A championship game. Much more on high school football coverage all week long.